What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony here from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 37th Java programming tutorial. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be teaching you how to pass an array through your methods parameters. So way back when, I don't remember when it was, but we learned how to pass just normal variables through our methods parameters and all we're going to be doing today that's different is passing an array. So <clears throat> this program, all it's going to do is it's going to take an array, pass it through a method, and then add one to each value in the array and then we're going to be making another method to um, basically just pass it into it and then it's going to print it out. So it's pretty basic. Um, make sure you guys have another class because I'm going to be using another class to make our methods and then we're going to be calling it into our main method. So the first thing we want to do is make a public void method and we're going to call this add or add one because we're going to be adding one to each element and let's finish that off and then inside our parameters instead of just going int um, array we're going to go int array with square brackets because we're passing an array through not just a normal variable and then we're going to want to just make a for loop um, for int i set equal to zero because we want to start off the first element and then we're going to say i is less than array dot length now, I don't know if I've ever used this array.length term, but basically all it does is it sees how long your array is. So if your array is five elements long, it would sub a five in there. If it was 10 elements long, it would sub a 10 in for array.length. So basically, you could use this without actually knowing how long your array is gonna be. So yeah, that's all it does. And you're just gonna finish this off with an I++. And then in here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, array i plus equals one. Now if you guys remember this little plus equals, all it means is I'm going to take array and I'm going to add one to it. And then finally we're going to just make another method to print out our values. Public void print stuff ah tough. I meant to put an s there, my bad. And then we're going to put take another um, array for through our parameters. So int array, and finish that off with some curly braces. And then the same thing, we just make another for loop. So for int i is equal to zero, and then i is less than array dot length. Since we don't know how many values are gonna be in our array, we use the array dot length, and we go i plus plus. And then all we wanna do is we're gonna wanna make an s out, and we're just gonna print out array I. So yeah, let me just recap this really quick just in case I lost some of you guys. Um, so we made a method here, public void add one. We're going to take a parameter of an array. So we're going to be passing array through our method and then it's going to go into this for loop and it's basically going to take every value in our array and add one to it. So it's a basic little calculation. If you guys know anything about grade, I don't know, grade one math, you guys should be able to follow this array plus one and yeah so our next method is called print stuff so basically all it's going to do is it's going to pass you're going to you're going to be passing an array into it through the parameters and all it's going to do is it's going to iterate through all of them and print them print all the values in the array out so save that and we're going to go over to our youtube tutorials uh class and then first thing we want to do is we're going to want to make an object of our tomatoes class so tomatoes t is equal to new tomatoes and then circle brackets and our semicolon. <clears throat> so if you guys forget what this all this gibberish meant, you're basically making a variable. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, no, it's not a variable. But I just called it a variable so most of you guys can understand it a little better. <clears throat> Sorry, throat's a little dry. Uh, so basically we're just making a variable, kind of, not really. It's actually called an object. Uh, I should just call it an object. So we're making an object out of the tomatoes class to access these methods that we have in the tomatoes class. So to do that, we just gotta go t.add1. Oh, before we do that, before we access our methods, we're gonna wanna actually make our array that we wanna put through the methods. So let's go int um, array values, and we'll just set it equal to, and we'll initialize the values right now, two comma, three, four comma, 
five comma six and I forgot my square brackets my bad and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna access our methods t dot add one and look at that it adds array values right in there for us <clears throat> and then we're just gonna want to go t dot print and again it adds array values right into the parameters for us and as you can see you guys you don't actually put square brackets because you're not accessing specific values you're passing the whole array to the method and if we run this just to show that it works three five six seven so as you can see it added one to each and every value in our array so thanks for watching this guys and if you guys haven't checked out my uh um, my website already please go check it out compsystudio.com I actually just updated it today um, so all the uh, all the tutorials that I've made so far are already up uh, not this one yet but I'm going to upload it right now so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial